everyone. I'm Aaron, a birding naturalist. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm really excited to bring you on a little bit of a search for a really amazing salamander, a type of amphibian called a California newt. Come on, let's go see if we can find some. We had some luck, found some. This is a California newt, an amphibian native to coastal California. It's got this lovely sort of brown color on the back and this amazing orange belly. So I'm filming right now in February, which means that it's their breeding season. Adult newts come to water, bodies of water, uh, from December until about May. And that's when they breed. And the females will then lay eggs anywhere from 7 to 50 in these sort of gelatinous clusters that they attach to vegetation in the water. And the larvae hatch out and they hang out in the water for a few months um, as they mature into adults. It's interesting, I've actually never found a newt larva. So it's something that I'm kind of curious I don't know, I've never been in the right place at the right time. But the adults are really fun to find. And after they mate, they actually leave the water and they head up into the, into the oaks and the scrub grasslands in coastal California, where they hang out eating worms and snails and stuff like that. Pretty amazing creatures. Oh, <laughs> pretty amazing creatures. Now, a lot of people uh, get concerned about handling a newt because they think that they are toxic. And those people are, are right, they are toxic. Newts actually uh, secrete in their skin a toxin, a detrototoxin, which is pretty potent. Um, one adult newt like this definitely can have enough toxins in its skin to kill a human. Um, this is actually a similar toxin to the found to those found in pufferfish. Um, <laughs> but the thing about the toxin is it's only something you have to worry about if you eat it. So don't eat newts. And in fact, after handling a newt like this, you really want to wash your hands before you eat anything. But as long as you're not eating it, you can totally handle them. They're completely safe to, to hold like this. Like I said, just as long as you don't ingest them. Pretty wonderful organisms. They do face some threats, though. So one of them is this uh, invasive crayfish. So crayfish are voracious predators. They eat practically everything. They're not even not just predators. They are they're just voracious eaters. They eat everything. Plant, animal practically everything a uh, crayfish will eat it. And so crayfish eat the eggs and the young of newt and they'll even uh, injure and and can you know, badly injure um, an adult newt sometimes, especially the bigger ones. So that's definitely a big uh, threat to newt survival. Another one is, uh, like behind me here, roads. Oftentimes, when these uh, newts are migrating from these sort of oak woodlands and scrub grasslands down to their creeks, they have to pass a road, they have to cross a road. And if you're a small, slow-moving amphibian like this, crossing a road can be a serious hazard. So here in Tilden Park, which is where I am right now, um, many years ago, people actually conducted counts to see how many newts crossed this road behind me. And they found there were so many, and so many were dying, 
that they actually made the decision to close this road. There is a gate way up at the top of this road and another gate way down at the bottom of this road that closes it to cars for months out of the year so that these newts can migrate from the uplands and down to their creek and mate and then migrate back without any risk of being run over by a car. And I mean, that's amazing. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm so delighted that these things can sort of travel safely because they're one of these animals that come back to the same body of water. So they will return to the stream that they hatched in. And so it has their, their, their ancestral breeding stream has a, a serious draw. It's not something they just move and go someplace else. And so if there's a road in between, I mean, that's, that represents a threat to generation after generation after generation of these guys. So it's fantastic that sort of humans can take steps to alleviate some of the dangers that we humans impose. Really fun, fun little animal. All right, well, I'm going to let this guy go. So I hope you enjoyed meeting a California newt. Thanks for the view. And until next time, enjoy the natural world.